Hello all, 4 play Squad Gaming here and this is our Final Fantasy XIV Dungeon Guard series. This level 50 dungeon is available after completing the main story questline and requires the Serious Business quest to be started. I welcome you to Pharos Sirius. At the time of recording this video, this dungeon also awards 30 tombstones of poetics upon completion. So without further ado, let's dive right in. This dungeon, from my experience, very rarely appears in any roulette and seems to be lesser known than most others. All item levels are synced to 110 to add an extra degree of difficulty. We start in an underground sewer system and we simply need to kill the ads in our way and progress through the linear tunnels until we reach a metal gate with a few dead bodies in front of it. Or are they dead? Once within their target range, they will reanimate and start attacking you. Kill the zombie sailors and head through into the next area. Progress forward and we are again treated with a few more zombies. Kill these with a main focus on the barber, as it deals more damage and can debuff the party with poison from the putrid cloud. It is interruptible, so you have a few options to be able to avoid. Head through the gate into the first boss fight area. Simon the Unsinkable is our first boss, and he is probably the hardest boss of the dungeon. Start as normal with the tank gaining the enmity and facing him away from the party. Throughout this fight, Simmons' abilities will grant a stack of corrupting crystal to party members, and at three stacks they will explode, causing large damage. Our aim is to stay as spread out as possible, ideally with melee DPS and ranged DPS on other sides of the area. When hounds are summoned, they must be killed as quickly as possible to avoid stacks being added by their attacks also. We also need to avoid any AoE circles. They explode very quickly and can be very hard to avoid. And when the large AoE circle appears, the party needs to spread out to limit damage from corrupting crystal. Healers will be tested during this fight if the mechanics aren't followed. It is also recommended to use your DPS limit break to finish the fight quicker. Once you have killed Simmons, you can pick up your loot and progress, and give yourself a pat on the back. That was a testing boss. Progress into the room ahead and kill the adds, being mindful of the falling crystal and the damage it causes on impact. Then clear the room on the other side of the hallway, and as tempted as it is to head straight for the treasure coffer, wait until the crystals have fallen. It's almost as if they wanted us to get hurt. Once this room is cleared, the pathway should have opened to allow us up the stairs. Kill the adds on the stairs again being mindful of the falling crystals. It is recommended to gain the enmity and take them to the top of the stairs to clear them. Kill the zombies guarding the gate and head through to the next area. Kill the adds on the stairs and say hello to the large zoo that slams down on us. Turn the corner and enter the boss fight area. Zoo is our second boss. You will notice lots of eggs around the area, some which are spotted and some which are plain. Ignore these for now and damage the boss as normal. The tank should turn the zoo away from the party. If we kill too many eggs, the boss will body slam a party member and cause huge damage, normally enough to kill. When the command for eggs hatching appears, we need to kill one of the glowing purple eggs. Plain eggs spawn adds that deal very minor AoE damage. Spotted eggs are our aim here, as the channel from them can cause larger damage. Aim to damage the boss as much as possible in between phases, and when it becomes untargetable, our tank must be careful of the ground effects placed under them. Being mindful not to kill too many eggs, keep damaging the zoo and before long it will fall. Pick up your loot and progress to the next area. We are treated with more stairs and an ether valve which must be turned off. This gets rid of the corrupted ether leaking out, damaging us if we pass through it. Head up the stairs and kill the adds on the way. Again, it is recommended to gain enmity and take them to the top to clear them and close another ether valve. Turn around and head into the final boss fight area. Tyrant is not our final boss, but a mini boss to get us warmed up. It also raises the question, why so many stairs if everything that lives here can fly? Simply burn Tyrant down. He will spawn zombies part way through this fight, however he has so little HP, it is possible to skip this phase or simply ignore them and kill Tyrant instead, ending the fight quicker. Pick up your loot, head up the stairs and head into our final boss fight area. Our final boss is Siren, surely a relation to Garuda. The tank should gain enmity and face Siren away from the party and aim to keep to the centre of the room. Adds will spawn through the fire and the tank should collect them as necessary. The sergeants are the zombies crawling along the floor. If they reach a party member they will be stunned so prioritise them and burst them down. The healer needs to keep an eye out for the debuff Siren song. After 12 seconds any party member with less than 100% health will be charmed. It is not essential to avoid, however it can cause problems if all of your party are charmed at once. 
Aim to keep central, as when the siren disappears, you will either appear at the edge of the room or the centre. If siren is on the edge, move out of the centre before she dashes forward dealing damage. And if she appears in the centre, stay central to avoid a room-wide AoE. With these tactics in mind, damage siren when possible and before long, her siren song will be over. There you have it, Virus Sirius is complete. Remember to commemorate who you believe deserves it most and pick up your loot. We give this dungeon a difficulty rating 3 out of 5 due to the amount of mechanics during our first boss. We are 4Play Squad Gaming, thanks for watching.